there we go. This is a house that uh, that a trust that I'm familiar with uh, owned in Illinois. And we acquired that property, in fact, through a student. A student wanted to raise some cash and had this house free and clear and said, Lou, uh, will you buy this property? And uh, we decided to buy the property. It had a tenant in place, a paying tenant in place, and we just uh, made an investment in that property. So sure enough, uh, also putting this gentleman on our path to home ownership program. And of course, as we always do, we look at our rents every year and it was time to raise the rent. And we notified him of the rent raise and he decided that he is interested in purchasing a home. I said, let's talk about your credit. And he said, I think it's good. I said, why don't you just go down to your local bank and see what they say? And then we can create from there. Well, sure enough, he did. And uh, this is our latest path to home ownership client. And this is Mr. Uh, Bill Henderson. And congratulations, our latest Path to Home Ownership Platinum member, uh, Mr. Henderson, for having purchased your home uh, there in um, Edwardsville, Illinois, Highland, Illinois, actually. So what happened was, and this is our Path to Home Ownership membership program, and there's four levels to this program. And in fact, if you have good enough credit or good enough down payment, you can start as a homeowner in our program. But often what happens is that people join us and they build up their credit and they build up their down payment to end up being able to qualify for a loan at the bank at low interest rates. So that is the pinnacle, so to speak, is low interest rate loan from the bank. Uh, the next one down from there is our in-house financing program. Now that's a higher risk loan in that we don't require as a typical bank would 20% down or we don't require PMI, private mortgage insurance. We just have the in-house financing, which requires a minimum of 10% down. And that is equivalent to a mortgage in that they're paying principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, building up their credit, building up their equity in the home while they're with us. Now, some folks don't have the required 10% down, so they start at the 3.7% level, and that is our rent to own level. And that's a great level when people have a budget constraint. And then of course, the uh, bottom line, there is the rent at the rent level. And that's where Mr. Henderson was. So fortunately, he was able to qualify for a loan at the bank, and he was able to end up right there at the top of the path to home ownership. Now, just for the numbers on this, and as you can see, we bought it for 115,000. We didn't pay any closing costs on that. And we sold it for 199.9. Again, not paying any closing costs. The only adjustment to the closing statement was the property taxes that were our responsibility for that part of the year. So congratulations to Mr. Henderson. Congratulations for purchasing that property. And here's the numbers here. So the trust bought the property 115,000. The trust rented the property from June of 2016 until uh, September of 2021. And that was 63 months times 1100 average, that was 69,300 in rent minus about 12,500 in property taxes, 3,000 in insurance. I brought it down to 53,800. Mr. Henderson took care of all the repairs during the time of his occupancy. So we didn't really fix anything during that time. And the trust sold it to him for 199.9 on September 29th. And so the trust profits were $84,900 plus the rental net of $53,800 for a total of $138,700. So now you can see how our business model works is that we teach you as an entrepreneur to offer the path to home ownership. And as you can see, this is a long distance deal for us. We're located in Atlanta, Georgia, and this was in Illinois. So sure enough, we were able to help a deserving gentleman to end up with home ownership with our program, even long distance. So this is a great example of that. 